better. Yes. We got cool emotes, right? Yes, we yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, the theme of the chart. Yes, Absolute. Cute. So the Memotes out. Well, we have Camex versus Dill up on PS2 right now in Loser's Top 6 right now. Things are looking real good. I know we are up and yeah, we are we're pretty we're running through bracket. I love it. Let's go. Yeah, it's 747, you know, things are looking real good. And Dill is just bragging up this damage on Camex, looking to take things with the rotor arm. But the back air just being extended by the gyro. Oh, it, all right, he's having a little fight with the gyro. He's getting a little stuck. The gyro's a third player. Don't play with me. It's playing the third imposter wow. right now. It's just digging so yeah. deep for the forward air, not quite taking it. But Camex is just still looking to continue that pressure on Dill right now, getting that fair, but not quite getting much off of it right now. You know, unfortunately not, but Dill is going to be able to take Camex into her arms and go in with a down smash after actually waiting out to see if she can actually turn that up to into an up air and finally taking the kill off of uh, off of Camex right there. Now, I love how Dill utilizes uh, that gyro to just extend the back air hitbox or the back air to kind of just stay out and just cover neutral get up. And also that kill where she up tilts people and just they air dodge and they fall to the down smash. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's funny, because they're expecting her to go to up air and they go down, and then she's like, ha! It's like I the mix of the am, mix. I am orbiting. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Yeah, and Dill is playing a very confident game right now in the center, but Kamex just comes out swinging mm -hmm. with the spin dash, looking to chase her up in the skies with these up air pressure. Off the spring, too. All these uppies just coming on out. Yeah. But Dill just still clapping back with these aerials. Still keeping Camex at the ledge over here and rotor arm spin to I, wave. I gotta say, I like Camex's thought process knowing that Sonic is one of the few characters who can actually challenge Dill in the air when she's recovering that high with Spring. However, pretty sure that Dill knows that and she just kind of used that to her advantage to take that opportunity to kill Camex off the side of the stage like that. So now Camex is at a two stock deficit against Dill and Dill is really doesn't really have to approach as often as she's probably used to having to do. Uh, especially get, with being in such a great advantage state against someone like Sonic, who does not really have a good disadvantage state, you know? Yeah, and not quite getting the conversion up into the, the neutral air. Dill is just still hanging on in there for dear life with 160 with the Rob, that tanky boy. And Kamex having that parry game, just going for it all off the top. Not quite getting that conversion, but still just comes out swinging with the back here. Finally taking this stock and maybe looking to do some more damage. We are getting the up airs just going online right now. And Dill is just able to find herself to the ground with that neutral air. But uh, she, you know, she's sitting in a very comfortable position right now. I know, absolutely. Here we go. We have Kamex kind of taking the lead a little bit on the ledge right now. Kind of, oh, huge punish. Oh, no. Unfortunately, Kamex just kind of overshot how long that, uh, that armor lasts for and got caught into it. And now... We're getting more percentage that we don't need, really need right now. Yeah, just getting that all that chip damage for the final kill off the back air. Girl, why did why did Joe throw the gyro and then immediately do back air? Like she was like, "You gotta get that's, out of here real fast." That's My all she son needed. cannot be that's hurt. That's all she needed. Straight up. The gyro to just interrupt oh, this bit man. Dash. What sucks is that Kamex tried to kind of hit the gyro out of the way, and that left him vulnerable long enough for Joe to come in with the kill. I see we're rocking the KK Rider tunes. I love it. On the good old, I th what was it, Town City Smash Bros that we chose? Uh, oh, it's TNC. Town City. Yeah. Against Sonic? Okay. But it's just a rub. It's still. It's fine. That's very worry. fair. Because, you know, like you said earlier, he has those platforms to work around to get those throw those throw kills just rocking, like, yeah, really when it, uh, does. Yeah. when it comes down to it. Especially uh, trying to catch Sonic landing. But he's just smoothing all around with the spin dashes, much like that. Just sniping it out with the lasers. And Kamex is just kind of playing to the ledge right now. Just trying to catch a jump from Dill. But Dill just coming on through with the gyro. Just taking things oh, with the rotor arm all the way to zero. town. Look, longest zero death I've ever done seen in my life. But that was a zero death I've ever done seen one. That is the power of raw players, you know? Especially when they are very talented, just piloting this character, crafting these zero to deaths like it's nothing. Let's see, here we go. We're gonna see another uh, kind of dope, just dominating the entire stage. Doesn't really matter. There's no platforms, two platforms, three platforms, a billion platforms. She's able to kind of go wherever she wants, and Kamex is struggling to find a way to get back to the stage. Unfortunately, did not gain the kill that she was able looking for off the side, off the platform right there. 
but does it not matter? There's nothing to her whatsoever. Nair stopping the spin dash as well. Yeah, I love how Dill is just placing herself to where these spin dashes can kind of just start charging and she just throws out the Nairs and just intercept it all. But KMX is just starting to come back with his own reversal right now, just getting the damage up on Dill. Looking to tie things back up, but Dill is just still pushing with the down tilt oh and shaving gosh. things off with that down smash. Gotta be hitting those techs because you are currently getting three stocked right now. What is, what is happening? We go into TNC and, and Dill is just in her own little world. This is a stage that was built now, for Now, Rotor get this dead. man out of here. Let's move and on to the next I'm You are dead. Oh, this, this is game two. This game two. Oh, yeah, this, this is game two. This, this is game two. We're not done. Oh my god. <laughs> you got I'm, so I'm popping off for the ROM. <laughs> you got, this is too much. Dill, you gotta relax. Off. You're popping off at game two. Bestie. I, we I, have, I said I was a ROM hater. I'm we like, have five over here games, popping off. possibly. Oh my god. Oh, you're a ROM hater. You're popping off. Look I'm at popping look. off for ROM. That's, that's, the, that's the city influence. That's crazy. I'm getting influence. I always make the joke that I like commentate like everywhere else but New York. This is it's true. Low key, this is like my first New York tournament. First city tournament. First city? Yeah. Yeah, first city tournament. Yeah, wow, that's wild. First city that's tournament. Wild. We have three of them you gotta plot, attend to, so. You better get there at some point. I definitely will. I'll go on, on to the Warriors Way. I'll go on to uh, the Brooklyn. But first, <laughs> Warriors Way. Okay. <laughs> we have K oh, Waypoint Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> we, but, uh, we, the Warriors Way. Anyway, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we yeah. have TNC. We're running right back to CNC. Um, both, both players actually probably very confident. They can get out this game and with their own character. Come on now, it's a good, it's a game that's a stage for both characters that works really well. Um, especially Sonic in general and Dill as a person. I know she likes the stage a whole lot. It's a lot of variety. That's what I like about TNC personally. There's a lot of variety and a lot of different play styles you can really pop off with according to what stage layout that wants to be that time, you know? Yeah, you have the double stages on the, yep. um, the two platforms on the side. You have the FD like you have the uh, the upside down battlefield as I like to call it. Yep. It's very versatile for a lot of different players, a lot of different characters as well. So I love seeing the way that Dill uses the platforms to her own advantage and even just stalling out a ledge right there for a side B right a side B to get the kill is so nice to see. Like it's easy to, to see on like why it's viable on something like TNC, you know? So mm -hmm. here we go. Going right back into this second like, this game again. And Kamek's popping off and not getting the kill. And Dill is just kind of having that DI on lock right now. Not really folding to anything. Kamex just has to throw at her. Still not folding to these down tilts. Trying to just go for the unteckable with the back air. But it is Dill's turn to play right now. Hopping off with the Beyblade. Let me just pick it up back real quick. Get that damage on in. Throws in the laser. Now it's just controlling the space right now. But Kamex having these really explosive fares to kind of just reset all these positions. We're seeing the upbees just kind of intercept Dill right now at the ledge. But you can't be overshooting like that, especially when Rob just has big, big arms to swing. And I just want to really compliment the way I do. Uh, just avoid the entire situation off the stage right there, going in with Gaz, dropping down really low with Nair, and then coming back up with Gaz. Just avoiding Sonic spin dash right on the side of the stage, or honing dash, or honing attack. I'm sorry. And it was just like, and she still died for, of course, at the, at the, at the end. But just the movement is really nice. So I have to really point out a lot of the players here. And now Kamex is kind of forced to play a little bit of a waiting game when Dale, Dill is comfortable approaching. Once these platforms are, I've noticed, when they're back to this position, she'll be so start playing the game. Yeah. That's funny. I love how Dill has just been running up and throwing out these wild moves, like that up smash on the shield. These rotor arms, it's like, all right, I'm down. I need a quick stock. Let me just doink, rotor arm that stock away and just bring this back to a nice, even game. Wow. But Kamex does not care with this parry game online right now. Dill, though, having complete control at the ledge, just setting up with the gyro, gyro, just trying to get the rotor arm, but it is just not rocking currently at the moment. Dill had to take the gyro before it got taken away by the platform. That's so funny. But either way, here we go. We have Kamex finally getting the pop-off that we're kind of being, he kind of needed for a while. 66% on Dill. Definitely doable for Kamex to kind of secure the stock. We got spinning dash attack happening. And wow, I can never, I can never discern what spin attack is happening. I'm the worst. Nah, it's all right because Kamex has been going to town with all these mm -hmm. spin attacks, but Dill has been having the right DI, kind of just evading the, like the full force brunt of it all. It's getting out of harm's way. Maybe not on that one, you know. But the forward air definitely eating that, and that damage is building up right now. Things are looking scary, but I really love that Nair to kind of just get herself out of that situation. Oof. 
I got to see her for a second there, but here we go. Dill's on the ledge where she's comfortable, just kind of overshooting the the, the arm rotor and the, the ledge there. Would have worked otherwise, but here we go. Maybe the conversion will happen, happen in her favor. Down tilt, not getting anything off the fair, however. And Dill is just searching for that all merry play right now with the gyro. Kamex is still just racking up the damage on the rub. Just playing patient to finally get his opening in on Dill right now. But you always have to be very careful against Rob because one ah! mistake. That's it. And it could be a game just like that. We're going to game four, four baby. Mm -hmm. It was almost too easy. It was almost Sonic. too easy. Sonic. I love that guy. <laughs> I love right, Sonic. He's let's corny, not, let's but... not make things up, Sonic. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> That was too easy, literally sweating. Literally sweating, sweating the entire uh, game, getting uh, scared. That was that was too easy. That was too easy. <laughs> <laughs> a little too easy. You know what? I miss like the design of Sonic back in the early 2000s. 2010s, give or take. It was like all like the vector profiles and he was like in that little spin thing. I you, love know, that. you know the you know the point I'm talking about, right? The iconic, you know. I think I do. How dare you? What do you mean you think you do? I I'll pull my tablet right now. Don't play as well, with you me. You might as well. I have two seconds. Two seconds to pull up that Sonic image. Look, all I gotta do is put up Sonic, and it's gonna show the picture, okay? I, I know it will. Everything is fake in this world, and I hate myself. <laughs> this this one! Not this one, but this, oh, this style. Oh, I love Good. that style. Anyway. The Sonic Rush. Okay. Yeah, Sonic, that style, my favorite style. But either way, back to this game. Uh, I like that camera just, just, goes through the, the, just goes through skins. Like, I love that for you. Yeah, that's something I notice a lot of Sonic mains kind of do. They just switch throughout all of the skins. They're good. They're good skins. They're I all can't good. even lie. Back to that matchup at hand, Dill is taking dominant control of the center stage and not getting anything with the up well not getting a kill off of us Nash, but humongous percentage lead that she has against Kamex. Uh, again this is of course set point for Dill if she wins this set she moves on throughout losers and Kamex will be taken out of the tournament unless he has some sort of uh like awakening in his in his game plan against someone like Dill's Rob. Yeah, Kamex is going to have to watch out with how he recovers against Dill because Dill has been taking his jump just so many times mm -hmm. and he can get back because he's Sonic. But if she presses the envelope just a little bit more, it just might be a potential stock, but Kamex is just going to be popping off with a spin dash to get the forward. But still, just coming back in with the rotor arm, always just trying to make things even. Kamex really has to just watch out for those. Oh, she just grabbed him right out of the spin dash. I'm asleep. I'm sick. Yeah, He's Kamex, like, you, you are not get safe. Your moves? Nah, you're coming to get over Dill. Here. You literally get. Oh, I'm gonna choke you. I'm gonna come, come over here, like an angry mother. It's your child. Like get over here. I'm fucking beat your ass. Like literally what she did to Sonic right now. And now Sonic Kamex is at one stock, and we're only two and a half minutes into this round. Not even. Yeah, they kind of just got ping ponged by the gyro, and Dill is just putting in the work with the down tilts. They're like, oh, I got gyro, just walling them out. Stay less. Just choom, 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 just chipping away at the damage. And Dill is doing a lot more work at the ledge over here, just tipping on the damage onto Kamex right now. Getting the gyro in for that grab, extending all the way to town with the That's rotor game. arms and closing out this set. That's it. That's all she wrote. That's all she needed. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Kind of, kind of cracked. And she, she did exactly what I said in uh, that first case. You know, she pushed a bit more when she was uh, pressuring Kamex and disadvantaged because he wasn't kind of watching how he was recovering. Uh, recovering. But then again, it was a pretty uh, rough situation to be in. You're down so much against Rob, and you're just getting assaulted by this big, big this robot. This big robot that in real life. He's supposed to be my friend. He's, He's robotic like operating, buddy. He's bad. He's just not good at his game. He's evil. He's bad. Bad. He drops a little connect four pieces all the time. Yeah. That don't call that Oh yeah, yeah, they're like I the mean, connect four pieces, like the the, the, the stacking yeah, one. Yeah, just Yeah, yeah, they connect four pieces. He's so I bad. Mean, what a bad little guy. But the but the Dill Rob is nice. It's it's oh, may, the, maybe the only nice Rob? I don't know. Like nice You're in turn not in terms of skill. You're kind of but preaching. like the good nice. I don't know how to the f the fade the, the 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 like you know how there's like profits or whatever yeah. she's like the profit rob. It's like you know the naughty and nice list. You know what I'm saying? Are you implying that every single other rob is on the naughty list and Dill's rob is on the nice list? Potentially. Potentially. Did you play brawl? Either of us. I did not I did play not. brawl. Uh, well then. Ah, <laughs> uh, brawl. Kid. I was gonna say that Dill's rob is the ancient minister, but you're what? not you're, oh, not, yeah. you're not gonna get That's that reference. I know. I knew no, 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 that. Wait she a was minute. Really I know. Good at Robin. Like, From, um, she told me her whole history. Subspace once. emissary. Yes. Well, t 
Oh, I didn't, you got y'all got me messed up on that. Y'all got it because I did play brawl, but like not competitively. If you get what I I'm just saying. asked if you oh, played I get it. it at all. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. <laughs> when someone asked me when I played a game, I'm like, you get scared of me competitively.